Hey, this is Bert from Bird and Bird Gaming, and right now I just downloaded some Geo Stones. See, I'm figuring out this new version of the Georama system that was first implemented in Dark Cloud 1. And it's supposedly the system where you. You like, uh. You like build houses and move them around and jump. It's pretty cool. But here, it seems to be a little more complicated. And there are some interesting parameters you gotta. you gotta fill. what we gotta do. We gotta go back to the Palm Bridges. There's an old man in Maximilian's uh, backyard. His name's Gordon. So, we're going to Palm Brinks right now. Yeah, you see, in one, the one strength in Dark Cloud 1 over Dark Cloud 2. And I know there's not very many, so this is just one right here. When it came to Georama, it was actually kind of simple. You could just take... You didn't have to, like, build a house from scratch. And you didn't have to build materials for the house fr from scratch. You could just... Um, you just got the mater materials pre-made from the geostones that that you would touch the the at la Mil milia in dark cloud one and you just put the stuff into the slots and then the house would activate and you go in it and you trigger a cutscene it was pretty simple and very simple to make videos out of i gotta say here you gotta do like side quests for various people, as we're well, gonna see right here. Something I can do for you? What? You want me to go with you on your adventure? Hmm, I'd like to go with you, but this poor tree isn't doing so well. Taking care of the trees and the flowers on this property is my number one priority, you know. If I go off roaming about, I could lose my job. I bet some of the holy water that Priest Bruno says at the church could fix this tree. But, as you know, your father and Priest Bruno are on bad terms. Your father never let give me money to buy holy water from Priest Bruno. I'm in a pickle. And I don't even have to buy holy water because I got it right here. You get plenty enough from dungeons.
One cool thing, though, about this over Dark Cloud 1, though, even so it's much more complicated, there's still a fantastic element to it because you can um, get people to go onto your train. And your train becomes much more populated with people that you've helped out. And and when they get on your train, they can be like secondary characters, like Cedric, um, Eric, and Borneo that I have with me. Eric the redhead and Borneo the big strong guy that I have with me right now. See, right now I got him as a secondary character. He, get, he increases my item rate. They give you, like, little perks or something. So, I'm gonna add them to my party right now. This instant. He is a gardener. He gives me bonus attack points on plant monsters. And you'll sell the Georama parts, and that's his... his strengths. And now... I am going over to... back to Sedang. And we're going to build a house. But the good thing is about this diorama, it's not all complicated. I think the tasks are actually a little more simplified because it just lists out exactly what you have to do in order to get everything. See right here, I need 15 river parts. So I have nothing to place right now, so what I gotta do is go to River right here and make exactly 15. And then I'm gonna build a wooden house. Right here, yeah. Just one is enough. Gotta make an eye tree, and two eye trees, and a nose tree. Eye tree one right here. Eye tree two right here. And nose tree right here. Then I gotta put a wooden house somewhere. I'm going to choose the clean up option so that I can remove some stuff so I can properly put this um, river in place. So first we're going to do the river. I would say that's a good river. Place some eye tree right there. And nose tree right here. And another eye tree. Every time you fulfill a parameter, there's going to be a change.
there's going to be a change in the future. Because the whole idea is you're correcting things in the past so that the future is much better. slept for a long time. Jurak, we need you to tell us something. Hmm? We need to know about a being called Emperor Griffin. We suspect he's a terrible monster who's taken over the forces of darkness. been playing with reality across the different eras. I don't know what his true goal is, but if we let him keep at it, the whole world may disappear. He even erased you, Jurak, by destroying your origin point. We've got to stop him, or there's no telling what will happen. Jurak, I hear you've been reincarnated many times, but you keep the memories of your ancestors from the distant past. Isn't that right? So somewhere in those vast memories, you should be able to remember everything that's ever happened on this planet. You must remember something about Griffin. Who he is, where he is. Please tell us, Jurak, we must know. Griffin. Let's see. I'm afraid I don't remember. I'm truly sorry. My memories must not all be back yet, I guess. <sighs> well, that was a little bit of a disappointment, but hey! Treasure chests. They all contain food feedings. And stuff to help out with our defense and just improve our characters overall so um, we didn't get any answers but we got some stuff in return and hey it's Jurok from also from Dark Cloud 1 he's um, back in this game and it's cool to see him again I remember when we revived him first time in, from in Matataki Forest and then he told us to go get um, Garo, and then Garo joined us. Nice to see him here all fully voice acted and everything. Well, this is Bert from Burden Bird Gaming, um, signing out, and I'll see you in the next video.